welcome back to another really exciting video so today i'm going to teach you how to create something like this so let's straight into after effects so here is your after effects interface and just create a new composition and just rename it text and you can adjust your duration and everything from here and just press ok that's all and now we have to create a new text so go to the type tool and click here and type your text and the thing is the font is really matter here and just make it small letter so anyway so what i'm saying the fonts uh, style is really matter so right now i am using this you can use something like this really thick font and laundry and uh, solid this is my font so you can you don't have to use the same font but that's not similar to this style anyway just make it to sender using align tool and everything and yeah here you are now uh, you have to randomize this position so go to animate and add rotation effects and if you change the rotation you can see something like this and here first we have to change the rotation in the left side so just make it minus 11 and go to range selector and change the end value so you can apply the rotation only till here so yeah and add another rotation and go to rotation value and rotate into the right side this time and go to range selector and adjust start value because we have to adjust the rotation only the, the ending part that's what so that's why we create two range select uh, means two animator uh, with the rotation to add the randomized uh, position in the beginning and the last thing differently so if you turn off this fx it will look like this if you add this fx you will get a nice randomized F position fx so that's what anyway now uh, let's create some fx for this tech to do that uh, you had to create a new composition and go to project when you can create from here or you can go to composition and new composition and change the composition name into text uh, text effects and just press ok now just drag and drop your text composition into here the first uh, composition what we created now we are going to apply all the effects here because if you want to change your text your text position everything you can go inside and you can change here we will apply all the effects so go to effects and generate add a fill color to change that font color and you can go to fs control and you can change the fill color into a nice yellow color you can copy this value if you want and that's all now we are going to create a long a shadow for this so just duplicate this composition by pressing ctrl d so you can duplicate this and right click here and rename into this is our main composition so just type it to main and right click here and rename into shadow because we are going to make a shadow with this there. and just delete the fill color and if you move this you can see the basic composition you will get now uh, go to fx and blur and sharpen and add cc radial blur here you have to change the type into uh, straight zoom and also the amount you can just play with the amount value and you can set the value 12 or you can just increase the value for now see actually you can create a nice shadow with this uh, cc radial blur i think this is too much mm. yeah anyway and here you can change the shadow means the lighting position uh, which side you want the long shadow so here you can create and yeah if you want to now go to uh, color correction and add levels because see the edges are really blurry so to uh, make it sharpen in uh, levels make it the channel into alpha and here uh, alpha input white make into zero and also gamma also zero so all the three values are has to be zero so you will get a nice sharp long shadow right now 
So this is a really easy technique to create a long shadow in After Effects. Now go to CCL, CC Radial Blur and you can change the position and also you can change the shadow amount. Uh, and it, basically you can play around with the long shadow, um, the position and the, the intensity of the long means the shadow everything based on this type and the center value so find a nice i think this is not looking good and oh this is too much i think you can use somewhere here yeah anyway so now we are going to color it so apply a new fill color fill effects and you can change the color value into some purple or the wild color anyway something around this or you can copy this you can paste the same you can copy and paste the same value and just duplicate the shadow composition control d and uh, we are changing the second shadow color into a purple color something like this now we have to make it bottom and select the first layer shadow layer and change the amount into 8 or somewhere because just reduce the value so you can visible uh, the background means that purple shadow also so basically we are trying to create a double layered long shadow and now create a new solid color a solid and you can name into bg and you can choose the same yellow color and bring it back to the bottom side because we need a background color that's what now the problem the text is not really visible so we have to add some stroke so just duplicate the main composition control d and rename into stroke because we have to create a stroke layer stroke for this so to the easiest way to create a stroke out of uh, any layer uh, you can change the color into purple and uh, anyway, go to effects and generate here you can see vegas this is really easiest way to create a stroke and actually you can delete this fill color you don't need right now there are some other method to change the color actually so anyway, you can change this blending mode into stencil right now and actually we have to change we have to use over blending mode but right now make it stencil and also you can increase the segment into 150 or around 150 and also increase the widths see you'll get the white stroke and also the hardness into one because we don't want any soft uh, thing that's what now just uh, go change the blending mode into over so you can use this color uh, for the stroke so it's really that's what i said the beginning uh, change the blending mode into over and change the bottom color so you can control the stroke color over here only now change the width in something like this and now you can just control d or control c and v the same vegas effects because we need another white uh, stroke so here on the second vegas uh, you have to change the blending mode into from over into stencil and you can now you can control the uh, width value so See here if you increase the width value you, you will get the both so we added the stroke and everything uh, now we have to add some extra element on this one so just create a new solid and uh, make it to white and actually we are creating a dots so you can change the name into dots and press ok now uh, go to fx and uh, here this chart will get cc griddler this is another fx to create a dot actually it's not a dots but small blocks you can set the horizontal scale 
if you are setting the horizontal scale too then you have to set the vertical scale also the same value actually it's too small make it five yeah little okay now if you you can increase the tile size to increase the total count of these dots uh, now the problem i think the white is not really visible so anyway i'll make it to the bottom i just change the layer position and also you can change the color so i'll go to layer and solid setting just change the solid color into just pick the same yellow and also make it little darker that's all so it's not necessary but you can change your design into into next level instead of using the flat background and um, yeah that's all now if you want to add the same dots over here uh, this is another technique just duplicate this layer and make it to top position and change the layer color into white and uh, now you have to mask this layer into the main layer so uh, you have to apply one fx go to channel and set, use set matte here uh, actually you can change uh, it has to be alpha and set use the our main layer so this the the white dot layer only visible through the main layer see now you, from here you can adjust the dot size and scale and everything i think i had to increase the horizontal and vertical scale because the five value is a little smaller and yeah i think this is pretty good okay we almost ready with the text effects and you can change the uh, the main text color uh, into little darker yellow because the background and the main text colors very same so just tweak the yellow into little darker a little bit darker to stand out the text now right click and go to layer shell add inner shadow mm, so it will give another uh, it will take your text effects into another level so here you have to change the distance and um, first change the blending mode into normal and change the opacity into 100 and also now you can adjust the distance here it's a little smoother so you have to adjust the size making to you don't want any smooth so it has to be sharp so change the size value into zero now you can change the angle to adjust the light direction so find the best di light direction i think this is pretty good now go to color pick the same yellow and make it a little bit more darker that's all or you can change the opacity value also or you can change the color into little change the uh, hue here the value of the color so you are ready with your text effects now if you add any text animation inside this comp so it will affect the outside also so i'm going to use the animation composer is really easy to add so it's also free go to a transition presets text and choose the character and here you will get only the character based animation so i'm going to apply this one or you can apply your own if you have your own animation you can apply that or you can use animation composer also and yeah here see you will get this kind of animation now if you go back just play the composition you will get the same animation on this text effects so basically if you go to text composition you can change the animation you can change the phone you can change the text pro text and everything whatever you want without effects in the f without changing these effects so hope you enjoy it stay tuned for more videos